Another jewels on you. Yeah. Another jewels. Guess what? Ask yourself these questions. Here. Do we have a mental problem? Do we have a psychological problem? Does this problem supersedes how we how our behavior, how our emotional Flex our daily basis. Are we getting mad all the time? Are we sitting around judging everybody because you think in your mind they got something that you don't got? Well, guess what? If you don't break this curse, it's going to be a generation, a generation of an issue. It's like a common cold. Can't get rid of it. First of all, you got to become a new creation. You got to become a new creation to be able to understand the system of things. Hear me now. Hear me now. You got to become a new creation to be able to understand the system of things. Now, this is not going to be a long out, drawn out. A video. I'm just gonna give you a taste. It's not gonna be for school because school on Sunday is still gonna be talking about who is Jesus. Is he black? Is he white? Or what culture he comes from? But I explained it to you and it gave you many different scholars. Which the first scholar I gave it to you was Dr. Henry Clark. The second um, scholar I gave you was um, Asher Quasar. The next pastor, teacher, scholar slash was Dr. Ray Higgins. That was last Sunday. But I got a lot more scholars for us to help break it down. Because some of you are so-called native dishonest, you don't believe a goddamn thing. And this is why you caught up in the system. Now, I'm going to tell you something. The only way you're never going to be in a system never again, you can't have no social security card, you can't have no birth certificate, you can't have no driver's license, no license at all, no identification. You got to get off the grid, point blank. Because there's no way in the world you going to tell me you're not part of the system when you're walking around with a birth certificate, a driver's license. That's identification to be able to know who are you and where you live at. Point blank. 
Yeah. Ain't no way in the world you gonna sit up there. You gonna go to uh, listen hypothetically. You decide to go to Jamaica because you know somebody in Jamaica, and they sit there and tell you this. You can come to this island. I got this land. You can live off this land. They're gonna teach you how to live off this land. Now check this out. You go jump in your truck, go six to eight miles to a store. Now let me ask you this question. Do you got your driver's license? Two, what if the store man says, I need to see your identification. You decide to pull your identification out and use it. Then you ain't off the grid. You're not off the grid. You are part of the system of things. The system of things is built to make money all day, every day. They're not stopping for nothing. You are part of the system. You part of the system because you have a social security number. This number is traced into the computer system. They can find you by tapping in into the computer, your social security, and they will find where you at. Now, unless you leave your social security, burn your social security, however you gotta do it, the last residence you was at, that's where they be going. Brothers and sisters, stop talking about, oh, uh, I'm off the grid. You ain't off no goddamn grid. If you are going to the store and you are buying milk, buying juice, buying food from the system, remember this. If you are buying food or any other products from the system, you cannot escape the system. You are part of the system in one fashion or another. You think they don't know that all these religions are out here? So you understand the fact that the system that created this system, basically the white wash system, the superpower rich people, like the Rothschilds, but there's another family that's bigger than them. They have the power. They're not going to give that power up to nobody. Don't get it twisted. But not to contrast uh, what I'm talking about is that understand this here. You got to have a formula how to deal with the system. You understand what I'm saying? You could be pro-black you could be Pan-African, you could be Islam, you could be Moorish, you could be a Christian, you could be a, a conscious community, you could be a New Wabian, you could be a disciple, you could be where the fuck you is, but you part of the system. Real talk. Real talk. You're not under the grid. You're showing identification. So what you got to do is learn to stop being ignorant to the madness. See, when you teach yourself and become a new creation, you'll be able to see and understand why things it is. Let me ask you this question. Why was some of our great leaders was infiltrated? The Honorable Elijah Muhammad was infiltrated. Malcolm X was infiltrated. Marcus Garvey infiltrated. Martin Luther King infiltrated. The Black Panthers infiltrated. W.E. Du Bois infiltrated. 
Shall I go on? Even now, Kali Muhammad, Kali Muhammad infiltrated. Huh? How'd he get infiltrated? Who was the inside man? Or woman? See, understand something. Breaking the curse. See, I don't got a problem. Blacks versus blacks. Because you're not going to stop that anyway. That's been going on since the beginning of time. Understand when you're dealing with resources. But we have to use our minds to be able to come collectively to be able to talk and communicate with each other. What the hell you hate me for? I'm trying to live abundant life just like you. If you choose not to live abundant life, you don't get mad at me. Wake up to the madness. It exists. Another thing I want to talk to you about, real quickly. Harriet Tubman. I don't think y'all really understand Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman was a soldier who was in a silver war. Sarah Harriet Tubman also had white folks who helped her with the Underground Railroad. Real documents. Now, if you was a slave and Harriet Tubman told you, uh, we need to escape and we're going into Canada or we're going up north and you said, oh, we can't do that. Because I think some of you need to understand something. If my memory serves me correctly, Harriet Tubman killed her husband. Let's stop bull crapping. When you walk this line here, you got to walk this line and you got to be who you're going to be. But don't make no mistake. We live here. You ain't off the grid. You got your birth certificate, your driver's license. You need these things. Because you know if you don't got them, they going to lock your ass up. Real talk. But you got to use your common sense. The common sense is about living. And when what needs to be met is when you got to do what you need to do. Stop talking about, oh, well, I, I'm pro-black and I'm not part of the system. I'm pro-black and I am part of the system. Because that's real. That's real. You cannot say that. Because you're using a light. You're using a gas. <laughs> you're using their stuff to keep society moving so stop playing mind games with yourself the whole object is to see how this movement the system is working either with you or against you you can still be yourself you can still be pro black you can still love Africa. You can still do all these things. But don't be no stupid fool. Don't do it to yourself. Now, if you wanna you wanna go underground and go to the grid, I said it and I'll say it again. You got to lose all ties. All ties. Social security, birth certificate, driver's license, any identification. And you got to stay in the woods, in the woods, you got to live there forever. Period. And don't be on the grid. And don't show up. Don't tell me I miss my family. Now I want to come back. Nah. You got to be able to provide farming, water supply, food. You got to do all that. Don't go to the store 
and don't buy nothing because stores got cameras. They got cameras. And if the camera sees you, guess what? You're part of the, the system. You got to stay out. Get out of here. If you believe what you truly believe, if you truly believe this, all right now, Shu Amin Ra, breaking the curse of the Willie Lynch. Understand, before I get off, we got a lot of people that are lost. And some of our people are so ignorant, they want to stay lost because they love the system. They love the system. See, you could be part of the system, but you don't got to participate in the system. You ain't got to do what they do. You ain't got to have Christmas, Thanksgiving, and all that bull crap, because it don't belong to you. You just participating because everybody else do. That's all. And you don't know no meanings, where it come from, What's his origin and why they make billions of dollars off of your black ass? I'm sure I'm in rock. See ya. Can you dig it?